Welcome back to another Broken Solar Panel Q&A. This time, we're going to start this off with this. I found this while searching for some parts of my mini Thunderbolt, and I fixed this. It's, it's an energy stick from Steve Spangler. Um, I've had this for a while, and you just touch both ends, and it lights up. Because you're completing a human circuit. Turn it around. Um, anyway, let's get to the Q&A. Alright, starting with a comment by Tia Schlitz. Uh, on the emotional meltdown video, or the song I should say, she asks, Does this mean you're happy, sad, or mad? Well, the answer to that is the, um, the song is supposed to be about, the song is supposed to be about my very first reaction when finding out that she had a crush on me. Uh, when I first discovered that, I was like really nervous. I was freaking out, you know, that's kind of what that's supposed to be, is it's a meltdown, emotional meltdown, that's some of the lyrics, anyway, it's basically just supposed to be about my initial reaction to finding out that she liked me in that kind of way, you know, I was like, because when I first found that, I was freaking out, I was like, all nervous, I was like, holy crap, I was grabbing my head in anxiety, I mean, I'm fine with it now, because I'm used to it, because, uh, you know, holy crap, it was still one of the most surprising moments, shocking moments, in, in uh, uh, Broken Solar Panel history, so basically that's my answer to that question. It was basically just a song about how shocked I was and how nervous I was at first. Alright, next uh, question. Uh, Creeper Boy, I think, commented on one of my 8-bit songs. Uh, I don't remember which one it was. Well, he asks, also, are you a musician yourself? I used to play the piano when I was little. I have um, some tapes of songs I made. I won't uh, I probably won't post these online because some of them contain my real name. In fact, the albums I made contain my real name. So um, I'm just going to grab the tapes and um, show you them. But I'm going to be covering up my real name as you see the um, labels. They're my improvs, but my real name is underneath my fingers here, so I covered that up. Um... Anyway, I have a bunch of different songs, and they're all played on the piano. I used to play the piano when I was young. I have a piano in the basement. I kind of suck at it now, which is why I make songs in 8-bit, because they sound a lot more better. They have a better rhythm, because I'm not really that good at playing the piano. I also have this, this synthesizer I got when I was like five. And uh, I did something pretty funny. I really wish I could post this, but it's on a video cassette. I don't have a USB VCR. Um, a long time ago, when I was like five, again, I was really young, my dad was videotaping me, I set the keyboard on the trumpet setting, and I hit the lowest key, and I said, excuse me, <laughs> and mom and dad were just laughing their A-words off. I mean, we even tried submitting that into AFV, and they didn't take it, because, well, we don't have a USB VCR, so we had to point the camera at the TV to record it, which means the quality was <laughs> garbage. Anyway, here's kind of what it sounded like. Excuse me. Another story, this keyboard was broken at some point, and I had to re-solder some of the parts that were in here. I also have a Yamaha synthesizer downstairs, which looks a lot like this one, by the way, the one I just showed you. But it actually has more features, like it has a MyDai connector and a headphone jack, um, and way more instruments, or voices is what it's called. It has like a hundred of them. This, this one I have here only has ten. Um, and the Yamaha one sounds a lot more professionally. The problem is it takes six D cell batteries, and one over here only takes four double A's. Or I can just plug an AC adapter into it, which is uh, actually goes to ten volts DC to nine volts DC. Maybe it's an inaccurate reading, but anyway. Next question. This pencil is on fire. Asks me how loud the um um. Uh, Mini Thunderbolt uh, and Mega Blaster Jr. is. I, I'm, I have a video on this camera. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. Alright, it turns out my SpyNet video watch has a, um, a decibel meter on it. It's probably not the most accurate thing in the world because this is one of those cheap toy watches, but eh, whatever. These two sirens probably aren't um, going to be at their loudest anyway because I think the amplifier might be starting to die on this thing and I have the um, blower pipe extensions attached to the Mini Thunderbolt, which somehow um, makes it less loud. I think it's because I'm using this centrifugal blower, and I don't have like an intake tube here that extends to prevent it from leaking out here. Therefore, a lot of the air will escape, and it'll kind of slow down the, the speed of it going up. 
as it's going out the blower pipe into the siren head. Also, this pipe is a little flimsy, <laughs> so it's hard to get it to stand straight. There we go. All right, so now let's turn on the um, uh, spy watch here. And uh, uh, spy apps. Macro this. Line detector. Uh, sound level meter. So there's that. Now we plug in the mini Thunderbolt. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh no! I broke it! Um. Yeah. Um. Wow. Poor Thunderbolt. Well, it looks like again, I uh, get another piece reprinted. Son of a gun. Uh, anyway, at least we got the decibel rating. It's like 60 or something, I think. We put all the pieces up here. All right, let's do the Mega Blaster Junior. <laughs> I think I might have a spare one of those um, yellow things somewhere. We'll see if I can find it. Like about 60, like 50, like fluctuating in between 60 and 50. Ah, poor mini Thunderbolt. Anyways, uh, let's get on to the next question. And we're back. Next question uh, Rainbow Level Crossing. Uh, can you upload the full version of the Door Alarm song and the Smiley Face song and the other Gummy Bear song parodies? Um, I think I do have the Garbage Can song. I have some of the other ones, too. I'll probably upload those in a separate video at some point. Um, uh, but, yeah. Next question. Christian Hexum says, How about a Lego episode? I do not have Legos. I do have a Lego NXT, but I don't have, you know, like, the bricks that, you know, you step on and hurt your feet with. But, yeah. I've heard that hurts, like, a lot. There's like memes all over the internet about stepping on Legos. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> like there's pain things that say, on a scale of one to stepping on a Lego, how much do you hurt right now? Or something like that. I saw that online. It was pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, proud to be field in commented. Could you post a template for those mini Thunderbolts? I don't know exactly where to post them, so I'll just post a um, picture in this video that you can screenshot and then print off and make a mini Thunderbolt out of that, or a paper Thunderbolt. And then uh, Wolf Dog Films says, "No, please don't replace the Mega Blaster." Um. Uh, the chances of replacing the Mega Blaster are actually a little bit slimmer now that the Mini Thunderbolt has fallen over and broke his neck. Yeah, the thing fell over and it just snapped right off. But I did find a replacement piece. It shall be fixed soon, hopefully. Um. But yeah. Mega Blaster Jr. is probably going to stay for quite a while since that mini Thunderbolt's giving me such crap. Um, Dipper McFartface plays Roblox commented, Can you add solenoids to the mini Thunderbolt? Um, if I did that, I'd have to recreate a whole new rotator with new collector rings. And, you know, speaking of collector rings, I, this may be slightly off topic, but I did um, recently replace the, oops, the collector rings in the Mega Blaster Jr. due to the old collector rings being scratched up so much by the old brushes. The new collector rings in the Mega Blaster Jr. are far more reliable, far smoother, and they provide a much steadier flow of current to the speakers. Here are the old collector rings. What are we going to do with them? Anyway, let's get on to the next question. Tyler Davis says, I'm assuming the behavior crisis has been averted. Well, yes it has. For now. You <laughs> uh, 
All right, Wolfmaster commented, I don't know how you do it, but that siren artwork is amazing. Thank you very much. Well, I use Microsoft Paint to draw the sirens, obviously, but... Yeah, what I do is I look at a, a picture of a real tornado siren on Google Images and from, like, a side view or a, sorry, say, a diagonal side view so they can get a little bit of the front, you know. And then I... I just try to draw it to the best of my ability in cartoon format. That, but for the sirens like the Triblaster and the sirens that don't exist, a, there's a reason they don't look as cool as the um, the real sirens because or as accurate because you know there's not a real version for me to draw from. So yeah, puppet power puppet videos. He's uh, this pencil is on fire now, but I had this Q and A list written a while ago. Um, Broken sword panel. Did you ever? Have an error with your computer when creating, editing your videos? Yes, I've had many, many, many errors. It's so annoying. Anyways, um, what happens is sometimes when I'm doing 20 hour mass, I want to add a visual effect. Uh, when I click on visual effects, sometimes none of the effects show up. And if I try to click on the drop down box, Movie Maker crashes. And sometimes it just crashes when it wants to. Like, I'm just moving my mouse around, and all of a sudden it crashes for no freaking reason. It's so annoying. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next question. Anyway, Vince Nichia says, Why in the world would you leave garbage on your counter? Well, um, the simple answer is, Because I can. Matthias Allison commented, How'd you make that custom blockhead? Finally, I get to show this. Here is the custom blockhead. What I did is I took some paper, I drew blockhead on the paper, cut it out, taped it to a piece of cardboard, and then cut that out, but not directly on the lines where it'd be nothing to be taped to. <coughs> <coughs> then I glued that with some uh, another piece of cardboard that I just kind of wrapped sort of around the edges and just glued, bending it piece by piece, it, or just bending it little by little as gluing it one at a time. It was very time consuming. Like, very time consuming. And then I just put a backside on it, so I just kind of traced the other side of the front and then just taped it on here. Cut it out and taped it on here, and then just cut out the cardboard, glued it on, and there's Blockhead. A, a tier 756 Productions asks, How did you record the Vokey voices? Well, um, I just use Audacity, because Audacity has. Uh, two different recording things where you can record from. You can record from the microphone, or you can record whatever comes out of the speakers. Like, like you can just click on uh, record from speakers or something like that in the drop down box. It's hard to explain without showing it. Then you just click speakers, and then whatever audio comes out of the computer will get recorded onto the track. So I just I hit record, I play the Vokey voice, and that gets put on the, tra put on the track, and then I cut off the two silences on either side and just edit it so that way it'd be the right length. Wolf Dog Films says, Hey BSP, you should make a model of Triblaster. I did, but it's just a little paper model. It doesn't actually work, but it's kind of a lazy model, too. <coughs> Here is the model Triblaster. I got kind of lazy with the horns and just used drinking straws instead of making actual horn-shaped horns. And it actually rotates. Remember, since it's a custom siren and I don't have like an actual real siren to reference off of, this is very crude and probably very not to scale design or model of the Triblaster Tornado Siren. Anyways, that's the end of the Q&A. This is Broken Solar Panel signing off.